What's up everyone, photographer Ronix from Ronix Photographer and today we're going to be doing a screen retouching tutorial and for this model she's called Neat. I'm going to put her Instagram link in the description of this video so that you guys can check her out yeah so uh, this for this image I used a Canon 6D camera and I used an 85mm f1.8 and for my lighting setup I used uh, a Godox 80x80 softbox and a newer speed light so it was an off camera flash setup so we're going to be doing skin retouching for this image and we're going to be using the amazing frequency separation technique in photoshop so let's kick in and start retouching this image in photoshop so i'm going uh this is going to be like a first video very first video so that I, I don't waste so much of your time you know all the basics and for this tutorial we're going to be using uh the lasso tool method of frequency separation so let's kick in and start retouching this beautiful image so we're going to be doing skin retouching and uh, color grading for this very image so let's start uh, by creating african separation groups so just drag and drop right here twice and as usual we name this uh, color then the above layer we name it texture i think that is fine so click on the color layer deactivate uh, the texture layer then come to filter blur Gaussian blur so we want to uh, blur out the textures from this image so uh, let's uh, zoom out a little bit we look for an area that has more skin texture so we're going to zoom uh, to slide this sorry until we see less of this skin texture so that we can remain with the skin tones in the image so let's uh, slide this until we are seeing less of the skin texture but we can still see uh this uh, details are uh, in the model skin so let's uh slide this i think uh we can see less of the skin textures and let's click ok so click on the texture layer activate it and come to image uh apply image and as usual you see this uh, little box right here and now for this remember you're subtracting the textures from the color layer so we want to remain with only the, uh, the textures on this image so what you're going to do you're going to come to uh, the layer remember we are extracting the colors from the color layer click on the color and come to the blending option and uh, click uh, sorry look for subtract and select it so make sure your opacity is what 100% the scale is to offset 128 and make sure uh, these two boxes are not checked and make sure invert is not checked so when you do this you'll see uh, the textures are uh, uh, right now in this side of the image you can see the outlines and the skin textures uh, without the colors and skin tones so just come and click ok then come to the blending option and uh, click on linear light so when you click on linear, linear light you'll get back uh, how the image initially was so we're going to uh, be grouping these two layers so control control G to group them after selecting the two layers so we can name this uh, frequency separation i'm going to abbreviate this to fs remember you're only going to be using the lasso tool method for this tutorial uh select uh, your color or skin tone layer or your low frequency layer come right here and uh, click on your lasso tool and for the feathering we're going to be using a feathering between uh, 18 and 20 pixels so for this tutorial let's use 18 pixels because we want to get a better selection of the skin area so as usual we're going to zoom in to the image so we're going to select only and only the area of the skin so um just uh hold down and uh drag and draw a shape and make sure when you are uh, drawing these shapes or selecting the skin area make sure you're really careful and you don't uh, select the other details on the face so i think you're done with that so we're going to come back to filter then come to blur and come to Gaussian blur so we want to uh, get uh, the best out of our skin textures so are we going to remember this radius and for the trick I am going to share with you guys to get the best skin textures for your images so we're going to slide this until we see uh, the best skin texture for this beautiful image I think at 33 you have are the best textures so let's try to zoom out and see i think at 33 we have the best uh, skin textures and uh, now here i'm going to share with you guys the trick 
I use to find out the best screen textures from all my images. So I'm going to I put 10. Remember that was our default for our frequency separation. So I, what I found out is when you multiply 10 by 3 and add 3 to that value, uh, you get uh, the best skin texture. So for whatever readers you may have used when you are doing your frequency separation, make sure you multiply it by 3 and add 3 to that value. So for this case, 10 times 3, you get 30. Then 30 plus 3, you get uh, 33. So I'll just put 33 right here. And voila, you can see uh, we have uh, the best skin texture. So we're going to, we are going to apply uh, this texture on the rest of uh, the image. So let's zoom in a little bit. Remember, I always prefer to remove uh, my uh, blemishes last. So make sure you uh, make a shape according to that area you're trying to apply the effect on. Right click and apply Gaussian blur. So continue doing this for the rest of the image and uh, just do this I think uh, this is one of the fastest uh, skin retouching techniques if at all you're really careful with it uh, because uh, it gives you uh, perfect results at the end of the day and uh, you really take less of uh, your time uh, doing the retouching on the image so let me as you're seeing I'm doing or selecting according to the shape of that particular area so this is also key because uh, you don't want to flatten your image yeah you don't want to completely flatten it uh, while doing these uh, selections so let's zoom out a little bit to see how our, uh, how our image is so let's see before after so far you can see how beautiful this image has just turned out to be with just a few minutes of retouching so let's uh, zoom in a little bit and I uh, would want to apply this effect right here and let's try and see how this will turn out as you're seeing I'm avoiding uh, uh, those areas close to the glasses of the model because uh, it may blur out uh, those details on uh, the glasses so I think that is fine so let's come to the neck area and what I've realized most retouchers tend at uh, forget at uh, this neck area so we just right click and if at all you feel the effect is too much just click uh, shift ctrl f to reduce or fade out on that effect of that particular area so make sure you uh, make a selection a really fine selection uh, right click and apply the effect on that area I think we have, we have done a fine job so remember apply this effect on all the areas of the skin so remember we hadn't applied uh, the effect right here in the middle of the eyebrows so let's uh, right click and apply the effect I think we are fine with that so as you can see the image is already beautiful so uh, you can as well come and apply the effect on uh, the nose area yeah let's apply that so that I can share with you guys what has meaning by uh, reducing on the effect so when you come to this highlight right here and right click and apply the effect you can see it has flattened out the nose and doesn't look really nice so you can just reduce on the effect by clicking shift ctrl f on the keyboard so and uh, reducing on the effect to get back that beautiful highlight because uh, it adds dimension or shape to the portrait so just click uh, on the side and now we are done with that so what you're going to be doing you're going to be removing the blemishes uh, remember the blemishes are usually on the texture layer so make sure it is selected get uh, either of uh, the spot healing brush tool and maybe the clone sum tool and make sure uh, it is bigger slightly bigger than the blemish you're trying to remove by uh, using the left and the right brackets on the keyboard so just add dab over or click over that blemish you want to remove from uh, the beautiful model space so let's do this quickly because I don't want uh, you guys to spend so so much time here so let's uh, do this quickly and remove uh, this hair right here and now let's come to the first area and uh, we do uh, we, uh, we do remove these blemishes and if I told you loving this tutorial don't forget to uh, like uh, this video don't forget to subscribe if I told you haven't subscribed this channel 
such can motivate me to keep on creating more educative and constructive content for you guys on this channel so let me do this really really quick because i wouldn't want to uh you guys to spend so so much time here so let me try to remove this strand of hair i think we are done with this so what we are going to do right now we're going to be doing color grading for this image so let me show you guys the before and after for african separation so this is the before after before after you can see the image really looks nice and beautiful with just a few steps so you can color grade this image i come right here selective color and now uh, we're going to uh, play around with the red channel on different channels on this uh option so i want to add some little bit of science around negative eight and i want to warm up this image so i'm going to come to the yellow channel and you see when you drag this will be adding yellows to the reds and i will pull it to towards the negative side or the left side you'll be adding magentas so let me uh slide this a little bit around uh six and now let's add a little bit of blacks to the red so you can see when you turn this this side you add black so you're going to go in for around uh seven and now let's come to uh, the black channel because we want to enhance uh, the blacks in the models here so uh, you can see we are going to be doing a little bit of that and now let's come to the yellow channel too and i will uh, we warm up the image a little bit more i think this is fine and beautiful and now i think we are done uh, with using this uh, selective color option so what we're going to be doing we are going to add a little bit of contrast to this image so come to your brightness and contrast uh, i prefer to use legacy and yeah so i'll activate it and i uh, slide this to add uh, those beautiful popping colors to uh, the image you can see how beautiful the image has already turned out to be so you can let me add it a little bit more and remember right now the image already looks beautiful so what we're going to be doing we're going to uh, do a little bit of eye whitening for our beautiful model so we're going to create a stamp visible layer by clicking shift alt ctrl e on the keyboard shift alternate ctrl e on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer of all we have done and duplicate that real layer ctrl j so we're going to come to filter and come to camera filter and what we are going to do right now uh, we're going to do the eye whitening using the adjustment brush so this is our adjustment brush so we're going to set it up uh, the temperature is at negative 22 the tint are at 69 and uh, the highlights at 6 and the whites at 5 and saturation negative center remember we are uh, dealing away or removing our color from the white area of the eye so get our zoom tool and uh, zoom into uh, the eyes of our model get the adjustment brush and just paint over uh, the white area of uh, our model's eye so you can see this is really really making magic for our image so i think we are done with uh, eye whitening for our model you can see the eyes are now looking white and are uh, popping so uh if at all you feel the image is really dark you can just come to your basic panel right here and uh, re increase on the exposure of uh, the image so just uh, increase or pull up as uh, the exposure for this image so until you see what really works best for you and i think i'm fine with this and what i'm going to do i'm going to uh decrease on the highlights because i feel like they're kind of blown out so i'll click ok and now i want to show you guys uh, the before and after for the overall image so let's group all we have done so before you can group them let's deactivate these two uh, layers you can see this was our image before then i, I we did the frequency separation using the lasso tool method and we did color grading you can see before after so we added a little bit of contrast to the image using uh, the legacy option and we created the samples earlier so we came and did uh, the eye whitening and we brightened up the image so let me group all we have done shift i click on the lower most layer 
control G to group them so you can see this is the before after before after so this tutorial has been about how to do your skin retouching in Photoshop using uh, the lasso tool method of frequency separation skin retouching in Photoshop and if at all love this tutorial don't forget to uh, like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and I'll see you in it another retouching channel uh, retouching tutorial on this channel and stay blessed